Last day off for the uh, for the week and everything, and um, I've got a pretty big craving for waffles. Guess I was just extra hungry today. Got some waffles. As you guys can see, we have Oreos over there. We have the shirt on. We're about to film the next challenge. And on my mark, we'll start with the classic, the regular Oreo cookie. In three, two, and one. Let's do this. Alrighty guys, shout out to my new uh, poster right there, Mr. Panda smoking hookah. Yeah, I need to do a little decorating, so got one up there now. Boom, Mr. Cyclist and Mr. Panda smoking hookah. Gotta love it, right? It's Wednesday, yeah, it's Wednesday. Uh, beginning of my two days off, which is awesome. Again, I had a really busy schedule in the shop, so I'm extremely, um, tired so that's the reason for me just going out uh, right now I just got back from uh, my recovery ride so went to the beach got some footage check it out pretty awesome ride uh, but yeah right now I just feel Pretty hungry admittedly so funny enough I usually do my cereal chats today so I'm gonna go to the store get some errands done and then uh, probably hit the gym stay tuned for the rest of the video guys see ya alrighty so first things first is I'm going to be trying this out now I'm actually really hoping that uh, that I did not get the honey crunch O's uh, for the new honey bunches of oats so there's like a honey flavor and there's an almond flavor uh, I couldn't remember which one I got and reviewed last time so uh, I was I didn't have my phone with me so I can really check hopefully it wasn't the almond one so I can uh, review that for you guys tonight uh, now we have the vanilla almond cashew milk pretty standard stuff right here this stuff is on sale essentially uh, the same as like PB2 just because I have peanut butter at work uh, and then you know, I mix this in my oatmeal, uh, high protein um, and uh, lower fat version of peanut butter. So good for me. Um, baking cocoa right here. This goes in my coffee. And then also do oatmeal with that as well. Then we have right here, we're going to be doing, trying out, now I hear nothing but good things about the McCafe uh, or McDonald's coffee in general. So. I'm actually gonna be giving this a shot tomorrow. Um, next we have the coconut milk. Of course, this is gonna be going with tonight's dinner. Uh, after that, it's pretty much just, I mean, produce. So we have some veggie chips right there. Then we have some apples for work tomorrow. I've been killing the apples and pears lately. Um, some non-vegan Parmesan cheese there. Then, this is also, if you guys haven't tried this uh, and you don't want to cut up onions essentially, this is a great option, but not as good as real onions, of course. Liquid sweetener, you guys know how I do it. Right there. Snap peas, of course. And then, last but not least, we have broccoli and some Brussels sprouts. That is what I'm rocking with right now, guys. Stay tuned for the next part of the video. Alrighty, guys, so I didn't get the chance to uh, try one of these out at work today, so I'm here at home. This is the new Fit Joy bars, nutrition bars that have just come out, or actually, actually, you know what, guys? These aren't even out yet. The good folks over at Nutribolt sent these over to me, and I'm actually got, I think I got my hands on one of every flavor, so I'm gonna try out the first one tonight, the Frosted Cinnamon Roll flavor. Let's get into it and see how we like it. Yeah, guys, uh, that looks amazing. Let's just say right now. Uh, so we're gonna try out the frosted cinnamon roll flavor. Let's do it. Wow. Okay. Well, folks, so there's the inside look of the frosted cinnamon roll flavor. All right, everybody, I'm gonna start with the taste on this one. So taste-wise, it's kind of discouraging because I get almost an overpowered uh, cinnamon uh, flavor uh, right when I bite it into this. And it's really, it's hard because cinnamon is one of those things I love. I love usually everything cinnamon, especially Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Long story short, I got overpowered right off the bat when I bit into this with this. I feel like they did way too much cinnamon. And that's the main issue with this is it's not sweet enough for me. Um, the whole thing with uh, the Fit Joy bars is that they're supposed to be lower sugar than the traditional protein bar. And I feel like they 
may have skimped out a little bit there. Granted, they do have an awesome profile. I mean, 11 grams of fiber, lower carb, which most people like. I don't really care too much. Overall, I rate the Fit Joy Frosted Cinnamon Roll Bar. I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. Give it a shot, guys. Alrighty guys, what's going on? So you guys are gonna be seeing a rather uh, longer voiceover. Uh, it's just gonna kind of go over everything that's been going on over the past, I'd say, few weeks, but this actual uh, training footage is from the past, uh, I would say, few days. Um, I just kind of wanted to put it all in one video, so uh, essentially my deadlifts, my squats, and everything like that, and uh, this is actually one set hitting 335 uh, for a double, which is good for me right now uh, at my body weight, which, I don't really know, to be completely honest. I haven't weighed myself since the 50,000 calorie uh, cheat day, uh, or cheat challenge, whatever you wanna call it. Anyways, so uh, just doing a lot more variation, guys. And uh, I've been obviously eating a lot more and have been uh, noticing some extremely um, great strength increases, if you wanna say. Uh, I don't really know what I'm trying to say, but um, I've just been seeing a lot more results. And that's ideal right now for me. Uh, it's really uh, not even something that uh, I would think that would occur this fast, but it's happening and I'm happy with it. So uh, more than I have seen in, I'd say the past few months, which is really great. And um, I just wish I would have done this sooner. So that's the only downside. And I feel uh, the, the more uh, I get into this and the more I really just I mean, give it my all, give it my 100% as cliche as it sounds, the more I'm actually really starting to like powerlifting again. And I mean, granted my lifts right now, you guys, 99% of you out there are probably laughing at me, but to be quite frank, I don't give a shit. I know my bench is exact, right here. Look at this, guys. <laughs> Failing epically right here. Grinder, 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 grinder. Oh, good chunk. Anyways, finished off with some flies. I won't go on too much longer. Stay tuned for the next part of the video guys see ya alrighty guys so I just got out of the gym it's about 545 right now uh, actually gonna be going to do a little uh, interview if you want to say with the uh, owner of a restaurant I think via Skype so I uh, think about doing a challenge which is really really cool so we're gonna be uh, doing that right now so that was absolutely insane uh, it's crazy how you I mean I just changed up my carb sources and I have these awesome workouts and everything like that so I didn't film anything uh, I was just I was in the zone so I mean just did some overhead press and some um, uh, just some different pressing work so hopefully bring up this uh, chest of mine anyways I got a little something special in store for you guys so stay tuned for the next part of the video so with me I'm gonna have to really figure that out I'm not too too certain right now um, obviously I mean I I mean I wasn't really I was kind of just spitballing ideas really Think about it. Try to do this shit right now. Boom. Clean, healthy, fun. It's coming. Oh, is that a bullet? It is a bullet. There's only five. You're safe. So Ricky, what do we think? I think we need to invest some more weapons. We killed it, shot a lot of awesome weaponry. Stay tuned for the next part of the video, guys. Well, alrighty, guys, I uh, just got back from a ride. Um, gonna keep it short and sweet. Last day off for the uh, for the week and everything, and um, I've got a pretty big craving for waffles. Guess I was just extra hungry today. Got some waffles, some oatmeal, my fruit of course. I was thinking about even doing a challenge tonight, which still may happen, I don't know. We shall see.
about 9, almost 9.30. As you guys can see, we have Oreos over there. We have the shirt on. We're about to film the next challenge. And on my mark, we'll start with the classic, the regular Oreo cookie. In three, two, and one. Let's do this. Alrighty folks, so it's the day after the uh, Oreo challenge. Having my coffee right now. Thankfully I can go to work a little bit later today. Uh, I just finished uploading the video. Not feeling too, too bad. Feels like with these uh, speed-based challenges, I mean, the volume isn't as big, so that's always good, but it's gonna sound pretty stupid to a lot of you, but I can feel the hunger already. Who else knows those feels? Anyways, we're gonna go through the rest of the day and see how it is. Yeah, stay tuned for it, guys. Day after the Oreo challenge and the hunger is real. Alrighty guys, it's about seven right now. Uh, actually a little bit after seven. I made it through another day of work uh, after the Oreo challenge. Uh, not too bad, honestly, and it's kind of crazy to think about how hungry I was um, today. And uh, yeah, hunger levels have been through the roof lately, which is a plus for me. Uh, it's really just about finding time to actually get in more food during the day, but overall I've been doing a pretty solid job at it. Really at this point, it's kind of just narrowing down what's actual water weight, what's actual weight gain, because I know I'm uh, gaining some weight, but uh, for me, you know, really not focusing on it too much right now. Other than that, kind of just having fun with things. Uh, I could go into more detail. My camera is about to die, of course, but thanks for watching the video, guys. Stay tuned for the next one. Alrighty folks, tonight we're gonna to be trying out the Tiny Toast Blueberry uh, Mini Sweetened Toast Shaped Cereal. Uh, brand new cereal out from General Mills. Let's get to it guys. Well, alrighty guys, let's give this one a shot. Okay. Alrighty, so I wanna say I already reviewed the strawberry tiny toast cereal and it was amazing. Unfortunately, for some reason, the footage got deleted off my SD card. Somehow, or something happened, I just can't, I couldn't track it down. So, uh, if I do manage to find it, or if I buy the cereal again, I will definitely review it again for you guys. I'm more of a fan of this cereal for the texture because it reminds me a lot of the French Toast Crunch. If you guys have had that before, that is an awesome cereal. That's the main benefit to the cereal, is the texture. If you guys haven't tried French Toast Crunch, it's somewhat similar to Honeycomb. Honeycomb is, uh, all, all these cereals are really just airy, and they're nice and, um, they're like fluffed up. They're nice and crunchy, without being too, too crunchy at the same time. It's perfect. Unfortunately, taste-wise with this cereal, I get more of an artificial tasting blueberry flavor. It's nice and sweet, but it's just, I don't know not really doing it for me. Another thing, if you really like blueberries with this cereal, it does turn your milk um, like that bluish purple uh, color and it makes it taste like blueberries, so that's always a plus, right? I give this cereal an eight out of 10. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! What, 9,000? Oh. 